Hello. Today we are going to look at a sample Google form test. The coolest way to do tests. Uh, how do we go about this? Let's, uh, let's have a look and get started and show you what to do. First of all, you get something in your email which looks like this. And it says, from the teacher, I've invited you to fill out a form. Sample test Italy in two days. Don't read the form here. Go straight to the bottom where it says fill out form and click the button, fill out form. And here you're already at the form. This is the text. So let's read the text first. Sample test. Italy in two days. First paper, part one, access to information from written texts, 32 points. Read the travel itinerary below and then answer questions one to four. Get to know Italy. Bella Italia Tours offers you two unforgettable days in Italy. Day one, Rome. Fly to Rome and transfer to your hotel. At 10 a.m. meet the tour guide and the group. The rest of the day will be spent touring Rome's most popular attractions. We will step back in time at the Colosseum. Sip coffee by the Trevi Fountain and climb the Spanish steps for a panoramic view of the city skyline. The evening is free for you to enjoy Rome's bustling nightlife. Day two, Rome. The morning will include a half day excursion to Vatican City. We will see priceless treasures at the Vatican Museum and the breathtaking Sistine Chapel, famous for its ceiling paintings by Michelangelo. In the late afternoon, take advantage of an optional trip to the Villa d'Este at Tivoli, just outside Rome. The villa is famous for its beautiful terraced gardens. Tours, breakfast, dinners and entrances to all sites are included in the price. Optional tours cost 80 euros each. So that's the text. If you want to look up any words that you don't know, look up words in your dictionary. Here you see there is an asterisk, a star, with the word required beside it. So every time you see this star or asterisk, you need to do this question. You must do it. Okay, so let's go down and then we see email address. You have to enter your email address in this form. So let me enter my email address. Uh, that will take you a minute and then we go straight down and then we go straight down to the questions here are the questions answer questions one to four in English according to the lit according to the travel itinerary in question one circle the number of the correct answer in other questions, follow the instructions. Question 1. What is the purpose of this itinerary? To inform travellers what they will see each day. To inform travellers about accommodation. To inform potential travellers about dates and price of the tour. To inform travellers about additional activities. Here you see it's a starred question, so we must do it. So what we're going to do is we have to click 
on one of these radio buttons. Okay, so we look at the text again. What is the purpose of this itinerary? And we can see that the purpose is to inform travelers what they will see each day. So we put a click in the button that we think is the correct answer. And we can even see that if it's correct, we'll get seven points. Number two, which of the following are included in the price of the trip? Again, it's a required question. Put a tick next to the two correct answers. A gondola ride in Venice, a nightclub in Rome, a visit to the Villa d'Este, lunch, the evening meals, admission to museums. This question is a text box question. So we have to choose two correct answers. Uh, well, we know it's not a gondola ride in Venice because it's all about Rome. Uh, and let's have a look. Here we're told tours, breakfast, dinners and entrances to all sites are included in the price. And optional tours cost 80 euros each. So we know that the evening meals, which is dinner, is included in the price. And we know that admission to museums is included because it told us that we get entrance to the sites. So on to number three. Number three is an open-ended question. You have to write in the answer in this one. Where should you go in Rome if you would like a view of the whole city? Again, it's start. It's a required question. So where should you go in Rome? If you would like a view of the whole city, well, we're told in the text that um, if we climb the Spanish steps, we'll get a panoramic view of the city skyline. So that looks where we're going to get where we're going to get the right answer. And we put in number three. Uh, where should you go if you would like a view? It's a short answer. We type in the. Spanish steps. Couldn't be simpler, right? And then we go to the next question, which is a complete the sentence question. According to the article, what can a person who loves art see in Rome? Six points. Complete the sentence. Now you see that the sentence has started with he can. When I make up this Google form, I cannot write he can here because this is a place for your answer. So you have to remember that the question is already started with the words he can and your answer is going to continue from the word can. All right. So what can a person who loves art see in Rome? Well, we know that um, in the Sistine Chapel, there are ceiling paintings by Michelangelo. So I think an art lover would like that. So what can a person who loves art see in Rome? Complete the sentence. He can. And then we're going to start the next word after can, which is a verb. See the ceiling paintings in the... Sistine Chapel. Now I see a red line under this word, which means I have a spelling mistake. So it's very nice. It even tells me when I have a spelling mistake, so I can go back and I can correct it. When you come to the last question, you are not finished the test until you click Submit. So if you want to review something, if you want to correct something again, if you want, if you're not sure about an answer you chose and you want to change it, you can do that. If I, if I'm not sure that this answer was correct and I want to click this button, I can change it. I can. I have a um, a choice. However, once you're ready to send off the form, when you're finished completely, you must click submit. If you do not click this button, the teacher will not get your form. So let's click submit.
And then this screen will come up, and you see it says sample test, Italy in two days. Your response has been recorded. In this case, it says submit another response, but hopefully yours will not say that. This is the end of the coolest test that you have ever seen. Bye-bye.